I've always been been very much intrigued by by biology animals. I remember myself laying on the ground in the grass with the uh, core of an apple close to an ant's hill to see the ants tearing it to their nests. The biology has always been there. The mites got in on my path during my studies. They have a big impact despite their small size. That makes them a very interesting topic to study. The best example that I, I, I always love coming back to the famous Prusimilis, the, the one that started the whole story of coppers. Every time I think about it, I'm just flabbergasted by what that animal can do. Female mites producing big eggs, about 20% of their body size. I always like to think on what that would mean for a human being. 20% of your body weight, so it would be like a child, like 10, 15 kilos. Oh, by the way, she does that four times, sometimes five times per day, which means you basically produce your own body weight on eggs every day. The thing is a machine, it's, 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 it's more than a machine, it's just incredible efficiency. If you have an interest in biocontrol and uh, with predatory mites in, in particular, Colpet is the place to be. This is where the first one was developed, this is where it happened and where it's still happening. One of the strengths that we have that we are an international company is that we can even work on problems before it's a problem. A current uh, example, Skittertrips is a thrips. They're very small, but they can be devastating. They have arrived in Spain a few years ago and starting to become more and more of a problem. But they have already been in Mexico for a longer period of time. The team in Mexico is doing experiments. So we already are ahead of the game. So we can already start to develop the biocontrol programs even before the pest is really there. My daily drive is sustainable world. I genuinely believe Humanity, we are addicted to agrochemicals. Like an addiction, the first time you take them, they do wonderful work. And let's be honest, when the agrochemicals were developed after the war, there was hunger. They did a wonderful job. But there was many addictions. You Once you start, you use more and you start to use more. And you realize that there's also a, a darker side. And it's the same right now. We start to realize more and more that all those agrochemicals that we use, that they're not good for our health, for the health of the planet, for, for, for biodiversity. But it's also not an option to say, tomorrow, stop it. We need them right now. To break that addiction, we need to come up with alternatives. Here we are working, I am working every day to find those solutions, to find those alternatives so we can get rid of our addiction. This needs to happen. We're going to make it.